The most important tip in the college application process is, hey, it's the Blue Dolphin Queen and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about tips for the college application process, starting from basics or if you just need a little tips here and there to improve your application overall. Now I'm going to get started right away. Number one, you want to try to choose a common app topic that not many people pick, so it sets you unique and apart from the crowd. Because when people, when college admission readers read thousands of essays on what someone's favorite talent is and they all happen to be around the same thing, they're going to get bored. And what you want to do is you want to pick a prompt that will already set you apart. So in my year, the gratitude prompt and the change in belief prompt were both prompts that had very, very low amount of people writing it. I believe I read somewhere there was about 4%. So. But there's also a prompt where you can choose anything you want to write. And many people do pick that prompt. And I believe it is good, it's really good, if you have a unique topic that stands out because it allows you to branch out and write the way you want to write instead of being confined to a specific prompt. But if you're writing something that sounds cliche or, or if it sounds like something many people would write, I suggest you steer away from it. And so I wrote two Common App essays, and I'll go into that a bit later, but one of mine it was using prompt number seven, and it was comparing different extracurriculars to the fried liver attack, which was a chess opening. And every time I do a chess move, I'd compare it to a different extracurricular and form a story through that. Now, the next one is something I did not do, but learned later. So you definitely want to create your own job option under the Common App, and this is only through the Common App. And you want there will be many options that are just basic options, but you want to be able to format many of your interests, if you have a lot, into and type it in a way that sounds unique. That way, this also sets you apart from the crowd. I wish I did do this. Um, and this is another thing I also did not do, but found very helpful that I wish I did. Um, so the UC extracurricular space, if you are applying to UCs, is definitely a lot larger than Common App space. So I suggest typing the UC extracurriculars first, and then you can easily shorten it for the Common App. Now, the next one is something I did, but I don't necessarily recommend it if you don't have time. So this is where I created two different Common App essays. And these are the large 650 word ones. And that was mainly because I, at that point, didn't entirely know what major I wanted to choose. So for schools where I chose the comp sci major, I did my gratitude essay. And for schools where I chose a business major, I used my chess essay. And this kind of helped me at some points too, because another thing to note is that when you have two common app essays, just because the prompts for each school are very, very different, sometimes the topic you use on your main short essay prompt may already be used in your Common App. So now you're just struggling to find different ideas for the main prompt because you already use them in the Common App. And this is where if you have two entirely different Common App essays, you can switch the essays around. My chess essay wasn't exactly focused on business and I could practically use it for any major. So this is what I actually ended up doing for my Yale application where most of my short essay prompts were focused on computer science and I kind of used my Common App ones to fit them in for the different short essays. Now, you want to start early. And to all you procrastinators out there, I'm pleading to you, like start during June or July. This is so, so, so helpful for getting all your con for getting your main Common App essays done and if you plan to have two, very, very helpful. And your UC essays done as well if you're applying to UCs. Now, having them all done before school starts is extremely helpful just because for those of you playing sports like me, or if you're in some other extracurriculars, time flies and you're stressed and it gets crazy enough. It is so, so, so worth it to have your main essays done before school starts so you can focus on the small prompts later, which definitely take a lot of time. Now, before you start writing your Common App essays, make a list of your extracurriculars and brief descriptions of them, just so you don't end up restating them in your Common App essay, which is something I did before one of my friends who edited my essays said all my extracurriculars were already included in a different section. So don't worry about that. Now, something I did in all of my essays originally was tell and not show, but I later fixed this when one of my friends edited my essays. 
I never really understood what that exactly meant. Oops. Until I started writing my Common App essays. Like, you want to tell what you learned from the experience instead of simply telling what happened at the experience. You need to show the reader how much you loved your passion. For example, I'm an author and I write books, but instead of saying I love writing fantasy books, here's one of my essays that shows my passion. If you want to read it, you can pause. I'm just going to skip ahead. Um, now, when you're applying to just any school, if it's a reach school for you and you really, really want to get in, like if it's your dream school and you're not sure if you're going to get in, look for majors that are similar but not impacted if your major is impacted. Like, computer science for me was extremely impacted in many schools, so I ended up applying a different major for some of them that was similar but not as impacted. It makes your chances a lot more easier. But for UCs, do know it is relatively harder to change majors. And now, find multiple people to edit each of your essays, like at least two or three people. One person's outlook is different than another's, and all perspectives make a huge difference. Now, if you're not sure what major you want to do, like I initially didn't, no, definitely do not go undeclared, because that significantly lowers your chances. Find out what you feel like you can get most out of the majors there are, and see what you like the most, and see if you can create a story based on that, on your activities, extracurriculars, and life story. Undeclared is a lot harder to get in, because it's harder for you to create a story about yourself when you don't have the option to center it on a major. Next, when write, researching different ideas for your writing prompts, you definitely want to think out of the box and find unique ideas, or you want to find unique ways of showing your ideas. For example, in one of my UC essays, I made it as if the essay was one of my YouTube videos, and so the format was in a YouTube script video, was like the script for a YouTube video. You really have to grab the reader immediately and not bore them, which sucks because obviously that's not our job. But really, they are reading hundreds of essays, and unless you're a national champion or something, or you have an extreme talent, which if you are, amazing, but um, they're really looking at your essays. Because every student is practically the same in academic GPA, academic grades, whatever, sports, extracurriculars. And for each UC essay, um, you will also want to pick an entirely different topic to maximize the amount of your interest you can tell them. Also, if you are really good at something in like the arts, definitely do an art supplement because I think it really, really helps. And here's some great resources to help brainstorm ideas, which also really helped for me. The one uh, thing in particular called the objects exercise really helped just because if you don't know where to start, you can get some things jotted down and create essays later on based on those. And there's this entire free workshop that the college essay guy has, and it's amazing. And at last, if you want any tips on the interview process and sample questions, check out a video I'll post soon. I'll link the video in the description below. And thank you so much. Hope you like, share, and subscribe this video. Have fun and keep watching my YouTube videos.